Hello friends, welcome to another problem solving session on triangles and its angles. In the given question, PS is the bisector of QPR. So what is PS and QPR? So you can see this line. PS is the bisector of QPR, the whole vertex angle QPR, right? And PT is perpendicular to QR. We have to show that. Angle TPS, let's mention the name so tps is let's say this angle which angle my friends this angle let us call it x okay is half q minus r so how to approach this problem so let's start with writing whatever is given so given is uh angle qps qps is equal to angle rps is it rps why because ps is the bisector ps is the bisector is it very good so what next also pt is perpendicular to qr that means what angle ptq is equal to angle P T R 90 degrees. Correct, this is given. Okay, and we have to prove that to show what is to be shown. Angle T P S is half angle Q minus angle R. So, how do we approach such problems? So, uh, one angle is given 90 degrees, bisector is given. One extra information which we know is angle sum property. So can we use that to find the relationship? So TPS, isn't it? So you can see there are two right angle triangles and we are going to use both of them, right? So let's say in solution, okay, in triangle PQT, PQT, right? Angle PQT or I'm simple right angle Q plus angle QPT QPT plus 90 degrees which is angle T is equal to 180 degrees angle sum property angle sum property of a triangle folks you already know that so what do I get angle Q plus angle QPT is equal to 90 degrees now if you look at qpt what is qpt if you look at very carefully what is qpt so and this is angle q plus qpt if you see qpt this is the angle i'm talking about isn't it this whole angle minus x isn't it whole angle is qps so angle qps minus x which is our tps Correct. This is equal to 90 degrees. No problem, right? Now, dear friends, QPS is equal to right. So can I not or yeah, so can I not say angle Q plus QPS? Can I not replace it by RPS? Right? What is RPS? See QPS is equal to RPS from the very given fact correct so this is true now let me write it here so angle q plus rps now rps r p s can be written as c i can write that as angle q the first one then rps and uh, rps can be written as angle r p t minus x isn't it this is rps rps is you can check this is r p s this angle so let me draw with this uh, this color r p s this is r p s is equal to the full angle which is the full angle this one and minus this x i hope you got it right so angle q plus r p t minus x that is r p s and then i had another x so write another x like that is equal to 90 degrees isn't it so this implies q 
प्लस एंगल आर पी टी आर पी टी राइट माइनस टू एक्स इज नाइंटी डिग्रीज वॉट इज आर पी टी इफ यू सी आर पी टी इज नथिंग बट लेट मी राइट इट इन अ सेपरेट नोट सो दैट बिकम्स इजियर सो लेट एस दिस इज वन नाउ इन ट्राइंगल पी टी आर इट्स अनदर राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल in this angle rpt r pt plus angle r i'm simply writing angle r plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees again asp check you'll get that so angle rpt right can be written as uh if you see 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees minus angle r from this this is 2 now from one end to i can substitute rpt by 2 whatever we have got so we can write angle q plus rpt i am removing and replacing it by this 90 minus r so 90 degrees minus angle r minus 2x is 90 degrees correct from one end to so this 90 this 90 will go and we'll get 2x is equal to angle q minus angle r and hence x is half angle q minus angle r and what was x guys tps so angle tps look at the diagram we'll get it tps is equal to half angle q minus angle r isn't it this is what we had to prove and we have proved it you can write Hence, proved. So, what is the learning in this question? Use of angle sum property. So, whenever some angles are given in the triangle, you can always use angle sum property to find other angles of the triangle.